What is up guys, it's Sobash. Welcome back. We are back with some more Brawl Stars. And if you are enjoying Brawl Stars or cannot wait for this game to come out, make sure you hit that like button. We've got some information on the update that they put out about 12 hours ago. And basically what it was is the update with Piper in it. Now, Piper we did previously go over in a couple videos ago. But we're going to go over some more information. I'm going to go over the patch notes and everything. So sit tight. So basically Piper, what they said, she's sugar spice, but not always nice. Firing sniper bullets from her trust, trusty gun umbrella. She does more damage the further her away her target is. Of course, she never gets upstage because her super drops hand grenades. All right, now what that means is Piper's super, of course, is called popping. Uh, what she does is she basically leaps out of the way kind of like a crow ability where she gets a pretty good way away from the target but when she leaves that area she drops three hand grenades and those things explode and do damage so not only she has an out she has an out that does quite a bit of damage as well now that does do 300 damage per grenade uh just so you know and her basic attack uh she fires a sniper shot of course the max range damage that she does is 460 damage now this is base level stats guys and her health is uh 600 hit points so that's piper right out of the gate have not played her yet but i have seen a lot of people saying she is pretty fun to play as long as you know how to kind of predict where people are going to be moving now also they did add another skin for el primo it's called el rey i've not checked it out but i do know it is uh, 100 gems. Uh, they also added a showdown map called Feast or Famine. We'll be looking for it when it comes up in showdown mode. And they also added an exclusive player profile icon, which is only available after reaching a certain amount of experience or trophies. Now, we don't have any set levels on these yet. When we do have some confirmations on that, maybe we can compile all of that info together and present it to you. Now, the main thing this update was really about was the balance and improvement the ui of the game that's what they mainly focused on you can tell i mean they did add some other content but you can really tell after this update they were really focused more on polishing and balancing the game now of course i know we haven't got a shelly or a primo nerf yet but i can assure you it's eventually going to come now improvements and balances brock reloads eight percent faster now I like that because Brock did reload incredibly slow. Uh, so hopefully that'll help him out a good bit. And also another thing they did, players from the same band cannot join the same match in regular matchmaking. Player names hidden in showdown and high trophy games. Now that right there, that's exactly the mode they were talking about. Showdown mode. The only thing that you are not gonna be able to get into basically is showdown mode. That's what they're aiming for. Now, if you queue separately without making a group, you may not be able to get them in the other modes, but showdown mode was the mode they were targeting because they had high level guilds basically doing countdowns to get into showdown at the same time, teaming up and basically cheating. Uh, but they have done that to basically trying to counteract that. So hopefully that will fix it. Now, they have reduced the maximum amount of available gems in smash and grab mode as well. Uh, originally, it was 30, and it got to the point to where teams were splitting 15 to 15, and those matches could go on a really, really long time. Now, they have adjusted it to 29, so you will never have those long standoffs anymore. All right, and with the visual and audio changes, they did a lot of those. That's why I was saying they, they more focused on the ui and fixing the back end stuff of this they increased the visual ballistics curve for some projectiles making it clear that they're flying over things that is awesome they added bull's voice now i have not heard it yet but i'm sure i will actually don't even have the character yet so we're going to be getting him he's the last one that we don't have that isn't a legendary and also of course piper the uh, new one which she's not a legendary she's actually an epic and they also added new sound effects for leveling up and rank ups. They added new healing sound effects, new music variations, new player defeated UI, new and improved brawl box animations. Heist, when defending the safe is blue instead of red. So that's might be helpful. Uh, reduce the virtual joystick size. 
Now, another thing I wish they would do right there is actually give us an option to lock that joystick so it's not completely just moving around with your thumb because that definitely, uh, it, it hurts you in the long run because you get to the point where you get to the edge of the screen and you can't move. You have to reset. Uh, they also improved the character textures for El Primo, Nita, and Brock. El Primo and Paco's attack effects have been improved. Now, I did notice the Primos earlier when I was playing, instead of just a little wide area, it's actually fists now that you see in the animations. And Bo's Mind's visual improvements. Uh, there was some few bug fixes. Like I said, many of them were the various UI fixes. Uh, Bo's Minds are now triggered by Nita's Bear. Barley's main attack can now destroy vases and bones, and that's mainly concerning like sh uh, showdown mode. Uh, I've actually played that about a week and a half ago and got to the point to where I figured out that Barley was no good in that because he couldn't break any of that stuff and get to some of that stuff. But hopefully we'll start seeing him more in showdown mode now. Player's bands can now be viewed from the player profile. They fix joystick activation issues at the bottom of showdown maps, and they also fix ban elder promotion UIs. Now, if there's anything that I missed, guys, please let me know. I'm pretty sure this is everything that they did cover in this update. A uh, few of that were my opinions, of course, but some things needed to be changed, and of course, they're still working on those. Maybe the nerf to Primo and Shelly isn't what they're wanting to do, and they're wanting to try to bring these other brawlers up to the level that they are on so we may never see a nerf on those two guys but hey as long as the game is continuously being balanced and changed and they're updating it i'm happy i'm content it's still a great game and i can't wait for it to be released globally but if you have any ideas anything you want to add to this guys feel free to do so in the comments below i always read your comments i'm going to try to reply to every one of them but thank you so much for watching as always like comment and subscribe i am soul bash you guys have a nice day